Is a policy that defines minimum requirements for staffing a role valid governance output? Hey, it's Jonathan helping you work better together. So this question comes from Yves Bertrand on the Holacracy Community Practice, and I'll read it now. Hi there. Is a policy that defines minimum requirements for staffing a role valid governance output? I think not as it concerns people and not roles. What would you do? If it's not valid, where and how would you define the requirements for a role? Because it could make sense, for example, having some experience and a diploma in a bookkeeping role. So this is a great question, and it actually points to something pretty nuanced. Um, it turns out, no, this is not invalid. This is actually perfectly valid governance output. And the reason for that is that if you look closely, we're talking about governing roles, not people. Um, Another way to look at this would be to say something like, when filling up the car with gas, you must use premium gasoline. We're just specifying that when taking a certain action, you must fulfill some criteria. Even though those criteria relate to people, we're not actually governing the behavior of people. So in this case, we're still governing roles. This is a great nuanced question. Thanks for asking. Okay, it's my wish that you're successful on your self-management journey. If you like this video, you know what to do. Leave a like and click the subscribe button. Um, and if you want to talk about anything Holacracy or self-management, I'll leave my contact info down below. Thanks for watching.